Well, after our third league title, it is time for a transfer special where I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. But before we get into the transfer special, it's time for the end of season review. As you can see, there it is. There's the title that we won. Good stuff by our squad this season. Uh, I think it was it was probably one of our best seasons, really. Uh, I'd have to go look back and look at the point total, but I was really happy with the squad this year. And here we are, the new arrivals, the guys that we brought in. How did they do this season? Uh, apparently, the board absolutely loved Castro, and, and I'm kind of right there with him. He put out an average rating of 7.21, uh, brought him in for 600K A-plus rating on that one. Fierro put out a B-plus, uh, 3.5 mil spent on him 7.21 average rating Povison 6.25 b for him uh 7.16 average rating boss was our signing of the season b plus for him uh got him from psv eindhoven for 6.5 mil 7.1 happy with him I, I really like this guy vansk was another guy b minus for him uh tejon kind of took over as starter goalkeeper at the back end of the season put out a 7.02 b plus rating for him markowski uh we spent a lot of money on this guy and and, and he he wasn't bad, but he never really beat out um, Fiara or um, Lucas. I had to think of his name, Gabriel Lucas. But uh, put out a 6.91 average rating, spent 10.75 mil on him. We did spend some money, C-plus for him. Uh, Cardenas, uh, a B-plus for him. Luis Garcia, a C-minus. Uh, yeah, I understand we haven't played him a ton, but... We're kind of we're kind of deep at that area, so uh, yeah, that's that's the new arrivals. But I think Luis Garcia may be a guy we use a little bit more next season. Well, in terms of money, what ended up happening? Sponsorship goes up a decent amount. Uh, broadcast goes down significantly, which is disappointing. Uh, corporate and hospitality does go up. Uh, competition prize money also goes down significantly as well. Match day goes up some. Zamora, Stan, Polvison, Johnson, and Cornelis was our top selling kits this season. And uh, the club awards. Villagra won Player of the Season. Uh, also, Young Player of the Season. Boss was signing of the season, as we mentioned earlier. Stan had the goal of the season. Uh, Gaeta with 20 goals was our top goal scorer. Most assists went to Gabriel Lucas with 15. Stan with most player of the match awards. Uh, Gronvik put out uh, the most passes completed per 90 minutes, and I did skip over Gabriel Lucas putting out the highest average rating of 7.4. Uh, Gabriel Lucas broke our assist record this season with 15, and we also spent the most money we ever have spent on Markowski with 10.84. Totally skipped over the uh, competition awards. Mike Snow wins European Golden Boy, and uh, Dutch Young Player of the Season goes to Villagra. Looking at our best overall 11, here it is. Uh, let's take a look. I am shocked that Kestens is still in this lineup. That is, uh, that's crazy to me. Uh, Samari's still in there. Uh, Chavi's still in there. Hayes still in there. Lucho, Delgado. I mean, it's still a lot of our older guys. But uh, yeah, I'd like to start seeing some of these other guys jump up into the starting best overall 11. It looks like Mike Snow and uh, Villagra was put in there as well on the bench. And so was Zamora. Club Vision. Uh, yeah, we've discussed this many times before. Uh, they want to expand the stadium now. Yeah, we probably should have built a bigger stadium, guys. Uh, they want us to qualify for the Europa League. They want us to reach the playoff of the Champions League, which is stupid because we've already passed that. I don't know what it is about this save. It always It's messed up right there. It really is, and it does hurt us, but they want us to play attacking football, uh, possession football, high-tempo pressing football, play entertaining football as well. And uh, some good news. Wow, we are up to 18 scouts and 11 coaches now, so that's... That's going to help out the squad a lot. I thought we had more guys on our former players. If you don't see any guys that you want to take a look at, uh, let me know and I'll add them to it. Uh, I, I thought we had more guys than this. Uh, Nestor still at Tottenham. How did he end up doing this season? Uh, he played in 12 matches, so he's not like a regular starter for him, but he is putting out a solid rating. Put out 6.9s in both of his seasons in the Premiership. Stephen Lee goes to Watford as well. Man, this guy was a good player, wasn't he? He uh, He's... Played a decent amount. He didn't put out a great average rating, but uh, is getting a lot of playing time. Chavi has moved clubs since the last time we've took a look at him. He's at Torino now, uh, and he's playing regular football, putting out a 7.06 this past season for him in, in Serie A. So that is fantastic for him. Happy to see him playing well out there. He was one of my favorite players of this season, or of this save in general. Delgado, my man. I love this guy. This guy was like one of my favorite players of all time. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> he probably didn't play a lot. It looks like he wants to leave. He's been replaced. That that sucks. It really does. Played in uh, one appearance for him. Yeah, it kind of went down for him a little bit, didn't it? Uh, finally, Ronieri. I didn't realize this guy was even on our, um, you know, uh, former player list. Apparently, I added him, though. Uh, he's at Dusseldorf, and he's playing quite a bit of minutes for him in the Bundesliga, so that's fantastic for him. The reserve side returned to winning the league again this season. Uh, they have absolutely dominated this division, haven't they? We're actually going to take a look at the side in a little bit and see if there's anybody we want to call up to the first team and, uh, you know, see how they do. But look at this. 
top three guys on my average rating were all our guys. So that's that's awesome. The under 18s also end up winning their league. So let's take a look at some of these guys. These are guys that we might end up being able to use this upcoming season. Uh, it, it's going to be tough for them. It really is because we've got some depth in the first team now, I feel like, in these positions. So uh, Maldonado is the first guy up. He's wanted. He's been transfer listed. He's, he's kind of a pain in the ass really but i do think this guy's really good we just got to find a spot for him on the team and that might end up being a selling a player uh he's a two and a half star player right now five star potential uh i think this fickle personality has really came into effect because he has been just an absolute pain in the ass since signing alves is a guy that can play across our defensive line and uh i'm really leaning toward keeping him on the first team this upcoming season a two and a half star player five star potential played at nec this past season and uh put out a 7.04 in the division below so i do think he's ready to take the step up and play for us uh cash Kashienda is another guy that we, we have a lot of depth at striker, but I want to get this guy involved a little bit more. He's a two and a half star player, five star potential. We just got to sell some guys to get these guys called up a little bit. The under 18s, uh, we've got one guy that I think is ready to make a step up to the first team, and that is Schumann here. He's a striker option, uh, probably the best prospect not best prospect but uh probably the best overall player on this under 18 side right now but we do have a lot of five star potential guys here that i'm excited about that we just need to need to find space for on this uh reserve side and and by doing that we need to find spots for these guys on our senior squad so we are gonna have to sell some players i think it's gonna be more of a, a, a transfer special where we promote within the squad but that comes down to what do we want to do this offseason what do we want to do uh i mean we got three guys that are wanted right off the top that are pretty high valued prospects. Uh, Villagraw being one of those. He's been linked a couple of different times. There's some big clubs in there, Brighton, Leicester, Liverpool's even there. Uh, mine's as well. Uh, Stan's wanted. Who's who wanted? Who won't stand? Uh, Byron Leverkusen, Atletico Madrid. Uh, so that's that's another guy that we could potentially sell. Uh, Johnson, another guy that's wanted by a couple of clubs. Uh, Brighton, Atletico Madrid, and Leipzig. Lucas is wanted by a couple of clubs. Uh, Mike Snow is wanted by Red Bull Salzburg. I don't want to sell Mike Snow. Do not want to sell him. You cannot have him. Patrick wanted uh, by a couple of different clubs. Vansk, I think he's one. Oh, wow. Uh, Everton's interested in Vansk. That's that's different. And Gata is wanted by uh, a team in the second flight of German football as well. So uh, we, we've got some guys that we... We, uh, we've got interest in, and, and we could arguably sell and, and call up some of these guys that we've discussed, you know, like guys that I think that I wouldn't mind selling, right? As good as he's been for us, Stan is one of those guys that I wouldn't mind selling. And the reason for that is we've got a lot of depth at, at Striker right now. And I think it's time to let some of these other guys come in. And if we can get that upper end of 23 mil for him, I'll, I'll take that. Villagra, another one of those guys that's in the same boat. I don't want to sell him, but... 21.5 mil sounds pretty dang nice, and we've got a lot of center backs that can come in there and play in that spot. I mean, Gronvik has now jumped up to a three and a half star player. Just realize that. That's that's awesome. Whoop, click the wrong button, Brack. Uh, one position that I am interested in overhauling a little bit this offseason is left wing. Okay, so Cornelis, uh, he's a three star player, three and a half star potential. I don't think he's ever actually going to get up to three and a half star potential. Uh, I think he's more of a three star player. Uh, but the guy that I'm actually interested in selling is. Advos. And the main reason for that is Advos has complained like one too many times. And uh, as much as I do like him, I just I just don't want to deal with that. Kasana was decent enough this season to be a backup there. And then I think what you could potentially do at left wing is uh, Luis Garcia can move in onto that spot as a depth option there. And if we sell Cornelis, I think we need to bring in somebody that's actually a starter. Uh, I'm not interested in selling Cornelis, but the one guy that I am interested in is Ad Voss. And what we'll obviously do on that side is Kasana, I think, could move up as her second choice or even Luis Garcia at that left wing. So it's it's a spot that I, I kind of want to change up a little bit this offseason. We're going to have to sell some players to do that. Central mid, uh, obviously, we could sell anybody at that point. Uh, Zamora would be the one guy I think that would make the most sense. He's valued at 30. To Mill. Uh, we've got a whole slew of players behind him. Mike Snow, uh, we've got Vance, we've got Donk, we've got Cano. Uh, there, there's just a lot of options there. Even Nico, as poor as Nico's been over lately. Uh, I, I don't know about this guy. I don't know about him anymore. I think we might try selling him as well. Well, they have announced that we are expanding the stadium uh, for, man, I feel like we, we really... <laughs> Missed out. We should have just built a bigger stadium to start with. Uh, it's going to cost us 8.6 mil uh, to get around 3,500 3, seats in the stadium. Uh, obviously, we need it because we're selling out the new stadium already. Uh, we, we've had this happen a couple different times, but it looks like a takeover uh, might be happening. You know, I've been like fast forwarding or not fast forwarding, trying to get through the days to see what our transfer budget was. But uh, apparently it already came in the inbox and I just didn't realize it. Uh, payroll's kind of low, 14.62. The transfer budget is 10.28. Uh, 
but it is disappointing because we're already spending 13.97. So we don't have a lot of wiggle room in terms of payroll. Maybe we can sell some guys and get that cleared up a little bit. Obviously, we can move some transfer budget down there as well, but I would kind of not like to do that. Well, two people just got their first international cap, so let's go ahead and discuss it on who it was. Uh, Gabriel Cardenas, the guy that we signed for free midway through the season, he's got a cap and a goal. Good stuff by him. Tejon, the guy who kind of took over goalkeep force, uh, he also gets capped as well. Well, I have been a busy, busy man signing three new guys. Up first, I purchased Roberto Carlos Montano for 1.6 mil. He's a two-star player, five-star potential. Looks pretty solid as a deep line forward. He doesn't really have the speed to be an advanced forward or anything like that, but maybe as a facilitator, I think he'll do a decent job for us. Well, I, I, I've finally broken down and decided I want to change left back. You know, Patrick's been decent. He just hasn't been fantastic, you know. Uh, so we bring in Jorge Pacheco, a, a left back option that's more of a full back than, you know, a wing back. But I think he can definitely do a decent job for us. He's going to be a really good addition to the squad, especially on that defensive side of the ball. And it's not a transfer special if I don't sign a, a central mid player that I don't need. Uh, this is just one of those things. It's good business. Uh, he's a three-star player, five-star potential. That's Frederick Overby. Uh, I purchased him for 925k, and he's already valued it. What was that? 32 mil? It's good business, baby. Uh, looks solid. Hard worker. Uh, more of an advanced playmaker style, but but uh, yeah, I, I think... I think he'll be a solid, solid addition to the squad. Well, you know, a lot of times these takeovers kind of fall through, but kind of, kind of excited about this one. It says uh, they plan to invest upwards of 70 million into the club. I wouldn't be against that. But the bad news is we are under a transfer embargo. Well, the transfer embargo has been lifted because the takeover didn't get done. Uh, we pulled the plug on it, as you can see by the email. So uh, it's back to signing people, baby. Well, unfortunately, Cornelis has left the club. Uh, yeah, Almeria comes in again. They've purchased quite a few of our players. They made his release clause of 9.5, uh, and he is now out the door. Well, I signed a new player, and uh, I I'm going to have to change his name because I can't. I'm sorry, guys. I can't do that. Uh, we're just going to call him Vinny. Uh, I think that that might work out pretty well for him instead of that because mm, that's not going to be good. Let's just go with... Vinny, the new goalkeeper, okay? That's that's a name, guys. That is a name. Uh, he looks pretty solid. I purchased him for 1.2 mil. He's a one-and-a-half-star player right now, four-and-a-half-star potential goalkeep. Uh, just a little bit of depth that we can add to our reserve side, hopefully. Well, we've had two players leave the club, and let's let's take a look at it. Well, we ended up selling Rick Bogey for 4 mil and uh, Rody for 2.8 mil. Uh, Rick Bogey, we just got a lot of depth in that position, and... Uh, I feel like he was the odd man out, like in terms of potential. So he leaves the club. Uh, Rody, obviously, I was trying to actively sell him. Uh, I think Tejon had took a step forward and is ready to be our start, our new starting goalkeeper. But uh, yeah, a little bit of business has been done. Well, I've continued to be a very busy man. Uh, we've sold uh, one more, maybe two more players. Just one more. We sold uh, Lino Cassiana, uh for 2.7 mil. Obviously, he was kind of a fill-in. Uh, and I wanted to overhaul the left wing. And I think we've done that. We sold Lino and Cornless both in the same window so that means I, i've brought another player in and that is yusef sammy uh for 10.25 really like this guy uh left wing option obviously two and a half star player five star potential that's valued at 27 mil uh, i think he can definitely establish himself over there and, and be our starting left wing for this upcoming season hopefully We've also signed uh damian serena a striking option this is a two-star player five-star potential i can't remember exactly how much i signed him for three mil uh i think you know as a as a Reserve side guy, I think he'll develop nicely. He's got some good mental abilities, obviously, as you can see with his determination, his flair, and his bravery. Just got to get some of that other stuff up a little bit, especially in the technical ability. I uh, would like to see his first touch up just, just the tiniest of amounts, but I do think this guy can develop and some, somehow down the road become on this senior squad. It is time for the Johan Cruyff uh, shield, I'm guessing. We're kind of playing like a rotated side, but a side that I think is really good. Uh, so that being said, let's go ahead, try to get the win here. Uh, this is our first real good opportunity of winning this because uh, we're going up against Vitesse. And I think, you know, that's a lot better than us playing Ajax every time we play in this. Hopefully we get a victory here and bring home this shield and put it up in our trophy cabinet. The first highlight of the match is ours. Cardenas now plays it out wide looking for Lucas, who's developed into a, a damn good player. Uh, Zamora now can't get his hand under it. Now Pacheco, Pacheco can't chase it down, and a counterattack has started here. I want to win this ball back. I'd love to go up one now. I really want to win this, guys. You guys don't know how much I want to win this. We've just got to get this ball back and turn this into our own highlight, which it doesn't like we're going to. The dink. 
the dink. Well, so far, it hasn't been good for us. <laughs> Vitez uh, with another highlight looking to go up 2-0 against this. And they do. We're absolutely choking once again in the Johan Cruyff uh, shield thing. Uh, this sucks. Okay, now maybe it's our turn. Pacheco's released Cardenas here. He's made a good run. Can he get past the, the goalkeeper? And he cannot. Son of a free kick. Cano sends it into the box and it's pushed right on out. Sammy gives chase to it. Can we keep this highlight going? I want to get a goal back before halftime. Cano now plays it into the box. Some more brings it down. Got a good opportunity. Lucas. Oh, good save by the goalkeeper, even though it was offsides. Well, we've been awful through the first half. We're down 2-0. Nobody's actually putting out good ratings. Uh, I'm going to change some things up at halftime to see uh, if it helps out a little bit. I'm really disappointed, guys. I feel like this was a great opportunity for us to win this, and we've absolutely squandered away. Nobody's played good. I've made all three of our changes already just because of poor ratings. Nobody creating any opportunities. Uh, I'm looking to see something a little bit different out of this highlight. Castro. Picks out Stan, who gets it in. It's his first of the season. Castro on the assist. It's 2-1. Uh, we still have time, but I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get it back, guys. Free kick of our own here. Zamora to take. Can he pick it out? Can he find Stan? Stan brings it down. He puts it in the back of the net. It's 2-2, but I do believe that is uh, off the sides. And it is. These tests look to go up 3-1, but we win the ball back. Maybe we have an opportunity to get it level here. Poor pass there. I believe that was Sammy, the new signing. He has had a real pisser of a match as well today. Uh, Stan really has been the only guy that's put out a solid rate, and I feel like Zamora wins it. Stan plays it out looking for Sammy. It's a little bit too far out in front of him. And now Vitesse looking to hit us with a counter here. Can we get back and get this ball? Gronvik says, yes, we can. Boss, man, I got you. Snow plays it to Stan. The highlight is still alive. He's got an opportunity. Hits a dink of his own, and it's tied up. Two, two, baby. Let's win this ball back. Do a football. Break a leg. Do something, guys. I don't like this highlight. I don't like it at all. This has got way too much riding on it right now. Can I do a little bit of a zoom in? Can't do a zoom in. We're zoomed in all the way. Well, unfortunately, we wasn't good enough today. Uh, Vitesse do win 3-2. Obviously, this isn't how I wanted to close out the episode. I was hoping we'd win that uh, Johan Cruyff Award Shield tro Trophy Cup, whatever you want to call it. But uh, unfortunately, we didn't. Vitesse had other plans for us. Uh, Stan looked really good in that match, but some of the other guys have, are going to have to step it up. Tomorrow's episode, though, we're going to get the season underway, and uh, hopefully it's another good one. Well, I I've said it before. I think it was a good transfer window. We brought in some decent talent that I am really excited about it. If you enjoyed this one, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below, and as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.